Good morning. It is Wednesday of half term. So we have got the whole week off with the children. My husband also has booked the time off as well. So we are enjoying a nice, relaxing, stay at home for the most part week. And I thought I would do a day in the life to show you what we're getting up to. So today's plans involve me doing some work. I've got some work to do. We want to do a big tidy up of the house and all also, we are going to show you one of the activities from the Week Junior Activity Hub. As we are working with them at the moment, if you've seen on my Instagram, you'll have seen one of the activities Grace has already been doing. And I want to share with you some more of the great activities that they have got. So keep an eye out for that later on when the kids are awake, because right now it is six o'clock in the morning. And this little one has been awake since five the clock changing has not done us a favor here so it was my turn to get up with him today so five o'clock five o'clock is the time that he decided was acceptable it is now six o'clock i can hear the kids stirring but they might not come down for a little while so just me and the fella just me and the fella at the moment he's getting so big i don't know if you can tell from here but um he's so big now he's getting really big he's getting a big boy are you getting a big boy now he sort of lost his puppy face a little bit and he's got a sort of a a longer head got a longer head <laughs> over there freddy what are you up to you're a cheeky boy you're a cheeky boy and it's definitely a cat do you think her eyebrows are nice yeah <laughs> they're weird what i'm doing right now is i'm writing my daily list today day in the life already doing that i've got to record a podcast got to catch up with some emails i've got to do some work take some photos all all of this basically is work stuff for today but also this is what i was talking about the activity hub from the week junior i'm going to just go through with the kids now and see which activity they want to do um they've already got their eye on a few of the things i know they want to do this dreamy hot chocolate and do the becoming a spy thing but we're going to see what other things that we can do as well and then i'm just double checking what's on the calendar there's not that much to do this week because it is half term and obviously we're in lockdown but i was just double checking any dates key dates for things that i have got to get done myself this is my new calendar i'm very excited about it it's from box clever is it box box clever i feel like i'm making that up now yeah box clever box P clever press and i figured i never use my diary i never use it the only part of my diary i ever use is the the like calendar bit of it um so i thought you know what we're just gonna have a calendar so it's a week by week calendar comes with a little pen absolutely loving that so yeah that's what i'm doing now i'm just making sure that i've got everything on my list that i need to do today worked out that i need to go to town to get a few bits and bobs for the things that they want to do so it's going to give me an excuse to get out the house so i'm going to go and get dressed for a halloweeny yellowy jumper and just some leggings and i haven't got time to do my face just going to put some socks on. I'm just going to go now, get it done. I'm going to leave the kids behind because he's off work. So I'm going to leave the kids behind. I've got my list of things I need to get mostly from Asda. 
a couple of bits from B&M and I also want to go into Marks and Spencers. Apparently they've got some amazing Halloween bits. So I'm going to go and um, look in there as well. And I'll share them on Instagram because you won't see this until Sunday and Halloween will be over. So I'll share them on Instagram if I find some good bits. Um, yeah. Let's go. I don't know about you, I just love going out on my own. <laughs> I mean, I say I don't know about you. I know you love it too. We all love it. A little bit of time on our own. It's like a pampas spa day. Um, just like an hour, just wandering around shops buying rubbish. Doesn't even matter what. Just out, out, out. Wednesday. Yeah, Meatballs Wednesday today. Ah, oh, we love meatballs. <gasps> I also got this from Marks and Spencers. It's a Harry Potter. The sun is terrible. Is it on that side? No, which side is it? Oh yeah, you can see him at the front there. Harry Potter advent calendar. Just thought it was real snazzo. So, but all of this is Halloweeny stuff. Oh, yummy. Mm, mm, mm. Right, now I need bread knife. Mm. Oh, has he? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, do it because he doesn't know that the time's gone back. They're here. We snuck them back again because we were sneakily eating them. Oh, right, you're stealing them back again, are ya? We are going to be spies now. This is the activity that we are doing. Right. So if I show you. So we were sent the half term edition of The Week Junior, which is an amazing little magazine. I wish I'd heard of it sooner. It's basically written for eight to 14 year olds in a way that helps them understand different articles and, and news stories that the real news would just be a little bit too much for them but it's written in a way that they can understand and for things that are interesting to them. Grace particularly enjoyed this one. I think it's because it is all around the world and, and often the news on the TV doesn't tell you about things from all around the world but this has got different articles. She liked the fact that there's a Tyrannosaur skeleton has uh, set a world record there in New York and she really liked that a seal found its way home in Chile. She's very much into her animals. She also really liked that it's got a book club section towards the back. It's got a book of the week, it's got recommendations for different books to read as well. She's got a Kindle that she downloads all different things on too so she's definitely she's downloaded this one and then she really liked this section at the back it's called that's unbelievable and it's just got some random things that have happened throughout the week uh seal is paddleboard speedster uh, a giant pile of carrots just real random stories from the week part of the week junior there is the activity hub which i talked about earlier and we have decided that we're going to start off with the become a spy so it says about dressing in disguise which we have got glasses on and grace is wearing a beautiful hat william's got his glasses on too but the activity that we're going to do is dusting for fingerprints so it says you need flour or baby powder a teaspoon to sprinkle it all on, makeup brush or a paintbrush, some clear tape and a sheet of dark paper, which actually we haven't got a sheet of dark paper, I have to go and do that. So we've got the flower, we've got a makeup brush, we have got our sellotape, we just need some dark paper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wander around the house and think where might we find fingerprints and see if we can lift some. So where do you think? You might find fingerprints. Where do we touch? What about somebody's cup? Oh yeah. Like I've just touched that now, so might be able to dust some. Should we try? Yeah. Oh then. I'm taking my glasses off because I can't really drink. Okay. Is anything sticking to it? There. Can you see something? There. 
Oh yeah, I see something. Okay, just keep dusting it. Dust, 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 dust. And then we get the sellotape. So I'll hold that, you cut it. <coughs> right, now carefully. So Grace, where do you think you saw the... That there. At the top? Yeah. All right, so lay it on top like that and press it down. That's it. And then lift it off again. Oh. You can see there, if it would ever focus, there's a bit of a, a thumbprint there, I think. So many fingerprints on this one. You grimy lot. And tongue stuff. <laughs> tongue stuff? You're so gross. <laughs> Why is that sticking? I don't know, put some more on it. Probably lower down where William normally is, is probably a good bit. Yep. <laughs> Might manage a tongue print. <laughs> Maybe I can do it. Something. A handprint. A handprint? Wow, let's have a look. We won't be able to get that on the sellotape, but. Who's there? Oh, yeah, I see it. Another one of the activities listed is secret message writing. So we're going to have a go at that and see what messages they can write each other. That's best if that for the whole page up. Have you got an idea what you're going to draw, William? A secret drawing for Daddy? Yeah. <laughs> you trying to read it? I love Fred. Ah, oh, lucky Fred. They're really fun activities, I like that. So they're just carrying on with that now without me. Um, if you would like to find out more, there is a link down below in the description box of my video. You can sign up to The Week Junior and get six weeks free. So six issues completely free when you subscribe using the link in my box. just been getting on with some work and oh that's bright um i said to the children get on with tidying the conservatory my lovely tidy space that i spent so much time making beautiful let me show you let me show you i mean look look at it this is just it makes me so sad ever shared the um me tidying that or not i'll have to look that up i think maybe i didn't but i did a real declutter not that you can tell from uh what i just did there but um it's a little bit tidier now ready ready fetch good boy drop Right, let's make this hot chocolate. We are going to make this dreamy hot chocolate now, and it looks amazing. That's heavy. Uh huh. Okay. Nice. 
I finished all of my work and the kids have done some activities we've had our hot chocolates and now we are going to sit and watch a movie I don't know what maybe Disney Plus or see what's on Netflix there might be some Halloween ones available we've already watched Hocus Pocus the other day and Transylvania 3 so we'll see what other ones there are and then it'll be time for dinner I think we're having meatballs and spaghetti today that whoever had come to the island might be somewhere about and see them. The boy took Anne to the little stone room where their things were and they sat down in a corner. Two children had taken it and they couldn't imagine why they'd not obeyed what George had said in the note. William, can you just sit down? Putting a pillow on your head is not the thing to do, is it? Just sit, sit down. Sit! Dick heard their voices. He clutched... 